Now, serious health questions for Rhode Island's Education Commissioner. As we reported on Eyewitness News at noon, Commissioner Deborah Gist has been diagnosed with a brain tumor. She is now facing surgery and is expected to make a full recovery. We wanted to learn more about her condition and the road ahead. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan joins us live from the newsroom with what she's uncovered. Well, we don't know all of the details surrounding the Education Commissioner's tumor, but we do know that a concussion preceded her diagnosis. We sat down with a doctor at Rhode Island Hospital this afternoon to take a look at the outlook. Deborah Gist is best known for her work as the state's Education Commissioner, but she revealed something much more personal on Tuesday, that she has a brain tumor and will soon undergo surgery to remove it. We sat down with Dr. Saraya Jayabhalan, who is an expert in the field, to find out what it means. Meningiomas, you know, if you're going to be unfortunate, you know, have a brain tumor, I mean, these are probably the best ones to get. About 80% of them are benign. That is the good news. The type of tumor Gist has is almost always benign and non-life-threatening. These tumors are very slow growing. They take probably decades uh, to grow to any significance. We don't know what caused Gist's tumor. Most people never know, but they do make up about 20 to 30 percent of all tumors. We've also learned that Rhode Island ranks number two in brain tumors for incidents per capita. Governor Lincoln Chafee released this statement Tuesday afternoon. Quote, Commissioner Gist is a valued member of my administration. I know that the commissioner faces this challenge with a tenacious spirit, which will help her make a quick recovery. Gist is scheduled for surgery in late September. Dr. J. Apollon tells us though there is risk with any procedure, GIST surgery usually has a high success rate. The recovery period for GIST at this point is estimated for about two months. State officials tell us they have already put plans in place to make sure that her work is covered. Live in the newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.